When I show this picture to people, they're absolutely amazed that, that this can occur. First of all, we have the sense that wildfire, high intensity wildfire, like depicted in this particular picture, absolutely engulfs and explodes houses into flames. And so when I show this, and by the way, let me just say, say that this high intensity fire at its closest point is about 45 feet from this house. And let me also say that the photographer in this picture was feeling a considerable exposure to the flame. They were beginning to feel the pain that is accompanied by the exposure that produces injury. But that says nothing about what's going on with this house. So let's take a look and see what the house looks like after the fire. So the crown fire has spread through and the house is still here. And the house is still there not because fire suppression, fire protection actions were taken to keep that house from burning down. This house actually did not ignite from that fire. So where's the disconnect in all of this? Well, the disconnect is between what we feel as a person and what it takes to ignite this structure from flames. What we feel is pain and injury from exposures to heat that is considerably less than what it takes to actually even char wood. Let me give you an example. The exposure that will produce a second degree burn on my exposed skin in five seconds takes over 27 minutes to ignite the wood. What that means is that I can get very burned from a fire and the house isn't even beginning to char. So what does that mean in terms of our perspective? Well, what that means is that we start paying attention to these big flames, which then produces our perception that, my goodness, how in the world can this house still be here with all that flame in the picture? And the reason is because the requirements for combustion that are produced by a flame like that are so much higher than what it takes to, to cause us injury that our perspective is personal. Our perspective is from our pain and injury, not from the requirements for combustion. So as it turns out, we are many, many times, more than 100 times more sensitive to pain and injury than what it takes to actually ignite this house. And that means we start paying a lot of attention to flames like this and not to things like firebrands. Firebrands that are extremely effective in igniting the structure from their accumulation and then slowly producing glowing combustion on the house that then produces flaming combustion if it sustains and eventually destroys the house is out of our perspective. Our perspective is on what affects us, the big flames, the big heat that we feel that produces the pain that impresses us is not necessarily related to what it takes to ignite the structure.